nanocatalysis. Smaller, cheaper, more efficient. Without catalysis, the world as we know it would not exist. Everything from digesting the food we eat to the refinement of gas for our cars requires catalysts. There is a large difference, however. Our bodies use enzymes as catalysts, while industry uses expensive noble metals. These expensive noble metal catalysts are not only used in the production of gasoline, they're also used in the catalytic converters of our cars to help them burn cleaner, in newer clean energy sources such as hydrogen fuel cells, in the manufacturing of foods such as margarine, and in the creation of life-saving medicines. The Woodfield Boreo Goats Research Group has previously discovered how to make a porous aluminum oxide powder that shows great promise as a support for these catalysts. The key features of this support are the high surface area of about 3,200 square feet per gram and a network of approximately 3 nanometer sized pores throughout the powder. Under the direction of Dr. Brian Woodfield, David Selk is currently working to take these porous supports and fill these pores, which are 30,000 times smaller than a human hair, with expensive catalytic metals such as palladium and platinum. This is being done efficiently and cheaply by using all of the platinum and palladium possible. In this type of metallic catalysis, only the atoms on the surface that are exposed to a reaction are useful. By using nano-sized engineering, Selk and Woodfield are working on putting one nanometer crystals of these metals into the pores of the support, which allow for the efficient use of virtually every individual atom of these highly expensive materials. This makes the catalyst more effective at accomplishing its job and cheaper to produce, because of the more efficient use of the materials at hand.